In relation to devices, because I've talked about networks, the SAR limit value that you see on test reports is very, relative, uh, very limited relevance for real use exposure. On this chart, I show the uh, factors that influence exposure from a mobile phone. So if we look at it first off here, when we use our mobile phone, we typically use it against the ear. And there's a small variation in absorption because of different people's the thickness of their ear, the size of their heads, and so forth. But it's very small. Some people, I see, use their phone in front of their face like this. That reduces the exposure for the very good reason that the, the previous doctor said, because you just move the phone further away. But even then, we don't see very much difference in exposure. When a mobile phone is tested for compliance, it's done under laboratory conditions with the phone configured to operate at the maximum power. And what you see is about a two-fold difference between the lowest and the highest uh, tested phone SAR values in the laboratory. So people sometimes say, choose a low SAR phone. But that's not really very instructive because it's tested for compliance purposes, worst case conditions, maximum power from the phone. And it's not a very big difference. As the, uh, the session chairman talked about, adaptive power control exists for mobile phones, so that when you've got a good quality from the network, then the, fo the phone power drops. And the technology related to that varies significantly. So here we have a GSM phone, where the difference between the highest power and the lowest power is about a factor of 1,000, and a 3G phone, where the difference between the highest power and the lowest power is about a factor of a million. So we're a 3G phone operating in a well-designed network that will operate at about 1% of its maximum output power more than 90% of the time. So if you were to advise somebody if they wanted to reduce their exposure, the main uh, advice should be use a 3G phone because that's the most important thing, not whether you use a, choose a low SAR phone, whether you put it near your ear or face. It's a technology that minimizes the exposure. 